Good morning, champions. Happy Monday morning. Coming to you live from the 5 a.m. club where we get up early and we conquer our morning to own our day. Hopefully, you're out winning this morning yourselves because it's Monday. T-G-I-M. Thank God it's Monday, as E.T. says. And on this Monday, thank God it's Monday even more so. It's a short week, folks. I don't care if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, right? We can't really call on Thursday um, or knock on doors. So you have to come into today with the mindset that you have to make sure that that doesn't stop you from having the week that you want to have. And how do you prevent that? Massive amounts of activity, folks. That's I'm boiling it down to the most basic levels today. Massive activity will create results we always have people have record weeks on Thanksgiving. Why? Because people's minds are on what's most important to them at this time of the year. And then that is almost always family. And when family is already on their minds, it's not as hard to sell the love. And when you're selling the love, they want to protect their families. They want to do all those things. And Thanksgiving is just such an easy intro to that. So regardless of how you feel about the holiday, use that as part of your conversations and understand that if you are losing a day, right? If you are working Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, you've got five days instead of six. If you are losing a day, you need to take that day and divide it by five, right? And so therefore you need an extra hour every single day. If you plan on not working Friday and Saturday, now you've only got three days. And now you've got, and if you normally work Thursday, you know, uh, five days a week, now you've got 10 hours that you need to now insert into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, right? And so now all of a sudden you're doing an extra three potential hours every single day. And that may seem like a lot, but when you understand your math, right? If you do a TPS report every single day and you understand all that stuff, then you understand that, that that activity can be inserted into other days when you miss days. And as long as your activity numbers are still there, the results will be the same regardless of which days you do them in. And so when you come into Monday with that mindset, you need to come in awake, fired up, ready to go this morning, on Zoom, camera on, dressed, ready to go, so that the minute it ends this morning, you're on the phone or, or you're at your first appointment. And then you've got a, Grano says pack a lunch to pack a punch. You've got to make sure you get your lunch just prepared. If you eat, you know, your drinks prepared uh, for what you drink and stuff and not take extra breaks, not take breaks to do all this stuff. Eliminate all the distractions, eliminate all the things that, that aren't going to drive your success so that on Thursday, when you're sitting there at Thanksgiving, you are able to be thankful for the activity you did Monday through Wednesday, and you don't have any anxiety about how you don't have a paycheck coming the next Friday. So be thankful for the effort you put in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and give it 110% and do everything you can. So that begins with this morning. Get up, get moving, get on Zoom. We will see everybody on Zoom, and let's have a monster record week. But come into this morning with that mindset that whatever you plan on working, divide that out, get your activity in, and understand that that's what it takes, even if you got to work late a couple extra days, so that we can all be thankful for our successes on Thursday. Let's have a fantastic day. Aspire to be better today than you were yesterday. It'd be amazed where you end up. See you guys on Zoom soon. I'm out. Woo!